Hello and welcome to the 18th video in this series, Making Simple Flappy Robin using Kokos 2DX version 3. I did say we were going to go into Eclipse, and indeed I had opened the project now in Eclipse and compiled and everything was okay, but I still want to do some things actually um, before we go into the Eclipse and the Android stuff because I find it easier to do the C++ coding and stuff inside Xcode because the IntelliSense and everything is much better than it is inside Eclipse and um, we've still got a little bit, a couple, two or three videos maybe before really going into the Android and C++ layer stuff and also it allows me to run the application and show the changes um, much easier inside Xcode starting a window than trying to either run an emulator um, which despite me having a brand new MacBook Pro here um, that's a couple of months old. The emulator takes about 10 minutes to start up and doesn't really run anything. And of course, the alternative I have is to then video the app running on my tablet, which makes the editing of the videos and things a lot more intensive. So, uh, driveling on as usual, but basically I'm going to keep going as long as possible inside Xcode before we go to Eclipse. So, what I wanted to do was, we have these other labels inside settings.scene.h. Now I can't remember to be honest from the, because I've been messing about and looking at some stuff um, for the future videos, I can't remember how many labels were inside here. I think we added in the music volume and effect volume plus and minus, but I'm not sure whether we added the effect value and music value labels. So you should have those declared in the private member variable section of the class as well. And what I want to do actually inside setting scene is just actually add these labels in. So you remember that we have this back label here where we've added the back, which then gets clicked and runs in this on touch began and runs the scene. Well, now we're going to do it's a fairly boring part, um, which I actually might uh, skip a little bit um, of uh, some of the code and paste some in for you. You can download if it gets really bad. But anyway, what we want is wants um, something I'm going to call gap to adjust which is just the gap between the value you'll see how this all works out um, when we see the screens the gap between the value and the plus and minus buttons and then a gap to the left hand side for the plus and minus button button so we want uh, call it left gap and that will equal then just paste this in here like so and that will equal then 120 we'll actually put that at 140 so that's these uh, constants then added here and now we need to do the rather intensive task of adding in various labels so the first thing we want to do is um, add label void because remember add label void is simply adding then a label where we don't maintain a reference to this label as a class member variable so we have our not font sorry we have our font size here our text then for this one is this, so this will be the, the title, so we'll call it settings. Position here then is vec2, and it's the visible size dot width divided by 2, so it goes in the middle of the screen. And then we'll have the visible size dot height, so the top of the screen, minus uh, back button bottom. And then we, for the anchor point then, we just need to add a 0 0.5 by 1.0 and I'm just having a thought actually I'm not sure which way around when I've declared this function here I've got the position and okay the position is second so we actually need the anchor point here then to go after here otherwise we're going to get some very strange looking stuff so that then positions our settings label title like this and if I just run the application very quickly and now just going to settings you see that we've now got the settings title on the screen here good okay so next table I want to add then is the one that uh, talks about the effects volume so I'm just going to uh, copy and paste that in oops and just call it effects vol like so the anchor point for this will be a 0, 0.0 and a 0, 0.5 and the position here then will be the left gap, goodness me, and then we want the visible size dot height divided by 2 plus the back button bottom. And just run that again, show you what that looks like. So I have the X volume here, and what we're essentially going to do now is we'll have a minus here, the value here, 
and then a plus here and then we'll have music volume below it with a minus the value and the plus as well so I'm going to put all of those in now and then um, come and then cut the video and come back and all that code will be in and you can either then copy it in or actually just download the code and paste it in from the download because it's really not showing anything new and it's going to take me probably a good 10 minutes especially the way I'm typing these days a good 10 minutes to actually type it all out so see you in a moment okay then so we're back in the video and you see here that I've added then the rest of the labels on here either the ones we need to maintain a reference to or just adding in the void label. If I just run the application then and you can see that inside the settings screen here we've now got something looking like this and we'll be tapping these uh, pluses and minuses here then to change these values in here. Okay then, so that's done. What we need to do however to change the values obviously um, is to be able to retrieve the values. So inside our game manager we're going to add in some public functions here and I'm going to add int and get uh, effects volume. In fact, I'm just going to add int and get volume. And then we'll take in a constant int and volume type. And then I'm going to add in void and set volume. And here we'll take const int volume type and const int value and the typing as usual was excellent there I seem to have real problems these days with actually typing okay so let's just drop these functions then inside uh, cgamemanager.cpp we'll just go down the bottom I think for this and the good old brackets and the prefix of cgamemanager now obviously for the type then, we'll go into constants uh, dot h and down the bottom here then we'll just define k vol type effect and define k vol type music just so we can keep the code down a little bit slightly different to how I did it in the version 2 of this series I think having just decided it right now and now we also need them inside the game manager itself then we need to store a private variable then a variable then of the um, int and uh, music volume and the int and effects volume and what we'll do actually is inside the initialization so the late init wherever it is we'll set those for the moment to five wherever they are I thought we had a late in it somewhere inside here. Yes, here it is. So here we load everything up. And just for now, we'll set the music equal to 5 and the and the indexing is broken again. Fantastic. Effects volume also equal to 5. I'll just check that that's correct there. Okay, so we set those values equal to 5 because I want to just pull those values out and at least show them on the setting screen in this video. So here we want to do then, we'll say um, if and the volume. Okay, the indexing is completely gone here, so what I'm going to do, you won't see it, but I'm just going to build the application, cut the video. Okay, back. What's happened in the meantime, I've cut it out from the video, but Xcode has actually crashed three times. Um, and has caused me much frustration and fist banging on the desk but we seem to be back now which is good um, so what we've got here then is the get volume and we're going to say then that if and uh, volume type is equal to k volume type music then we'll return the uh, music volume sorry else and we want an if here because we might want to add something in in the future K and volume type effects then we'll return the effects volume like so and here inside the set volume similar thing um, set volume if the volume type equals that then the music volume equals the value otherwise the effects volume equals the value and obviously these returns make no sense here and on this one here we'll just uh, return a zero like so 
Okay then, so that's our get and set. Now obviously we're not saving the setting or anything like this, and indeed in this video we won't do any incrementation either for now. We'll sort that out in uh, the next video. But let's at least go back into our setting scene and add in a function that allows us to display these, these volumes. So we'll make a new function then here, and I'll just call it void and set label values like so. And let's just take this and jump into settings scene.cpp. Let's go down the bottom here. Okay, so now in the settings scenes, familiar stuff here now. I'm just going to put um, car value string. Uh, what do we let's give it 16 characters here? Again, using the C way of doing things, that's just my preference. You can obviously use uh, strings as well from the C++ standard library if you want. And then we just have this and a percentage D. And now what we want to do is say C game manager instance, and then we can say uh, get volume and K volume type music. And this will get us then the music volume. And now we can say then that the music value label set string and then we can set it with our value string and again the index is not working correctly amazing okay the next thing to do then is just mem set our value string the size of uh, with naught sorry and with a size of and value string to zero so we clear everything out and now I'm going to be very lazy and copy and paste this below here and here we want K volume type effect and here now we want the effect value label set string like so so now what we can do then is just call this set label values then when the application first starts up once we've generated the labels here like so and now if I run the application hopefully we see a 5 and a 5 there and the next video we can look and look at actually incrementing these values and then also getting the volume set accordingly inside the game manager when we play our effects splash screen and settings and now we're good we've got a 5 and a 5 here these still not working but we'll deal with that in the next video Okay then, so that's it for this video. That was a little bit bitty and broken up. Hopefully I've managed to edit uh, some of the bad bits out. And uh, see you in the next one. Thanks very much for watching.